Citizens from the United States, we are anonymous. The Federal Communications Commission seeks to destroy the neutrality status of the Internet and the foundations it was built upon. The Internet as we know it, is on the brink of falling to the hands of corporations and power-hungry government branches. Net neutrality at its core, brings a just, transparent, and above all, equal Internet for all. But the people behind the shadow of net neutrality, are the ones trying to destroy the equality. This, is where issues begin to grow complex. Rest assured, if you have any questions, we have operators standing by. Please, private message us via inbox for any concerns. The link, is in the description of this video. Comcast, is the elite giant in all this mess. The Federal Communications Commission are only puppets being controlled by multi-million companies. Recently, Comcast was planned to merge with Time Warner Cable. The Internet acted upon it, detailing that such deal will lead to other Internet service providers, such as Charter and AT&T, to join the merge, because they are aware that such merge would lead to faster lanes to anyone that would join Time Warner Cable and Comcast. They would not turn down such an offer. They would want faster lanes for their customers. Soon, TV service providers, as well as phone services, would join. Because in the end, competition will perish. Comcasting the companies that merge with them, will win in the end. They will have the money, and the unlimited power and supplies to destroy anything that gets in their way. This, will lead to an elite monopoly that will be impossible to compete or destroy. Comcast, would single-handedly unite every company that services TV, phone, and net, which will bring a single connected mega-giant that will have complete and total control of every digital page in the internet, every channel on TV, and every phone call within phone lines. In short, they will be controlling the vast majority of pay TV, phone telecoms, and internet access in all America, one single unit that has the will and power, and complete and total control, over everything. Such merge would bring fast speeds for everyone across all three services. Which in turn, you will have to pay triple the amount of money on what you already pay for all three services. Everyone in America will have the premium speed, but it comes with a huge cost. Because again, this whole plan, revolves around mass profit, and politics. If websites such as YouTube do not cooperate with Comcast and its mergers, and the puppets at FCC, their lanes will be slower, and gradually more insecure. That, if they were to cooperate, they would have to censor any video that would be against Comcast, the FCC, or the government if it ever comes to that point. The FCC's Tom Wheeler is trying desperately to rule such policies. He claims that these policies will bring about faster lanes for everyone, it would benefit every citizen, and in turn, would allow for competition to meet their standards. Their standards, is a multi-trillion company unit that would be impossible to topple. The government seeks the internet as a utility, like water, or electricity. They have the need to regulate it, because they know, for many facts, that the key to controlling the masses, is within the net. Our current president, will never interfere. Comcast lobbied two million dollars to his election campaign. He wouldn't dare say anything that would dismantle such an opportunity for power, and profit. This must be stopped, by any means necessary. Equality, is what made the net such a huge co-operator on the freedom of expression. All sites, regardless of their profit, or fame, must have equal treatment. Why would telecoms want to interfere with internet data? Simple, for profit, which in turn goes into lobbying, and other corporate interests. Companies that are merged with Comcast will want to interfere with messages that makes them look inadequate, block applications that compete with their own, or increase their profit by forcing website developers and administrators to pay more to avoid having their data blocked, or slowed down. As we've stated, if someone is willing to create a new search engine that is more secure and more faster than Google, or any site that will make an impact, that will gain a competitive edge against Comcast and its mergers. 
Both Comcast and its mergers will not stand idly by. They will warn internet service providers that are merged with Comcast to address the specific website administrators to take down such idea. Slowly. Yet surely. All this. For business. They will have the complete ability to censor and terminate anything they wish. This abolishes the freedom of communication. And the freedom of expression. This violates and suppresses everything we have stood for. Such manipulation will lead to a mass power grab. Our free and open internet has made invaluable contributions to society both here in the United States and around the world. Whether you are rich, poor, young or old, the internet allows all people to seek out information and communicate globally. We must not turn over our freedom and equality to the highest bidder. A free, open, and above all, equal internet, is essential to a just world. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To Comcast, FCC, and its closest companies, and members, we are watching, very closely, expect us.